Hello, my name is Rajat Talesra and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we'll cover up Sidekick, okay? So before this, I have already created two videos. Uh, one is related to background job and the second one is related to Redis. So if you haven't watched them, please watch because they are sort of required. The information in that is sort of required for this particular video, okay? And uh, let me quickly brief you. I will first explain you the theory and then we'll go to the actual demo. So the theory is, uh, we have active jobs, which, which are background jobs and rails. They help us in doing some hard, uh, some long process driven work. Okay. For example, downloading a bank statement, creating an image, processing a video, uh, all those things which can take a long time. So if it is taking long time and if we do not use background jobs, if we do not do them in parallel, uh, what happens is they will block the main thread. Okay. And main thread meaning the thread which is responsible for showing the ui executing the task and ui related things okay so we don't want that we don't want long processing tasks to work on main thread otherwise the user will not like it right so for those tasks we create background jobs the solution for that in rails is active jobs okay that part is clear now the disadvantage of active jobs is twofold one they obviously they run on a separate thread but the process overall process is still the same so if your website crashes that active job background job is still part of your website so that background job will also crash which means after the server restarts after your machine restarts that process will already be gone and they won't be and our code won't be executed again okay so that's the first disadvantage that if the machine restarts all the background job gets lost gets destroyed Second is, you can, actually second is because of that only, that we cannot run active jobs directly on our uh, production code. Why? As I mentioned, that if this machine crashes, that thing will crash. So how do you manage it on production? You, you allocate a completely separate resource for running the background jobs, okay? How can you do that? For that, we have Sidekick, okay? Now, there comes another problem with sidekick, which is what if, if, if our machine crash can crash, if our website can crash, so does sidekick can crash. So even in that case, even if it is working completely on separate thing, but the chances are that it can still fail. So how do we fix that? For that, Redis comes in picture in between that. This is our website. This is our sidekick jobs, all the background jobs, and in between comes Redis. How does Redis help? It is a third process completely separate. So obviously chances of all three failing are very rare. And at the same time, if it is failing, you have made terrible mistake, something about the server choice or something related to that. But the point here is I have mentioned this in background jobs. There are two parts to each job. One is the queuing part. Second is the performing part. Queuing, uh, the simplest example for this is if you're trying to buy a ticket in, in a movie line, uh, you'll stand in your line and wait for your turn that line is called the queue and when you actually get the ticket by paying the amount that part is called the performing part okay so that happens in background jobs also so queuing happens in redis so our website will mention okay do job one do job three do job five though all those information will come in redis redis will be our queue okay it's a database sort of uh, key value pair database so in this Redis, that information will get stored that what all next jobs we have to execute. Okay, that's it. Now comes Sidekick. So Redis will keep on sending information to Sidekick. Hey, do job one. Once that job gets finished, hey, do job two. Once that got job gets finished, hey, do job three. Okay. So in this case, if Sidekick fails, Redis will take care of things. If Redis fails, the memory can also be persisted in our database. So from that, Redis will again fetch details and inform Sidekick, hey, do these tasks. If website fails, obviously website can fail, but the background jobs are in uh, Redis also, so that won't fail. So overall, your architecture will be such solid that even if website fails at some point, user will see this information, but their pending jobs, background jobs won't fail, okay? So that's the biggest advantage. And that's why I have mentioned that go see background jobs and Redis videos first and then come to Sidekick. Now let's do our project demo. So I have already created a project using this command. Rails new demo Sidekick is the project name, dash T, so that we don't add any test cases. 
and dash d postgresql which is the default database so let's go in here cd demo let me create the database rails db create even though we don't need the database but i've just created it clear okay now let me start with the documentation so there are two types of documentation actually you can go through this sidekick documentation but instead of that uh, i'm going through this one documentation i will share the link in my uh, description it's a bit more refined documentation okay so in this we can add the sidekick gem so let's go and do that uh, let me check redis gem also yes we have redis gem already so let's add sidekick gem okay and let's install this bundle install okay and after that we will have to mention that we are using sidekick for queuing adapt queuing our active jobs we are using sidekick okay uh, by default if we don't mention this uh, a sync is a sync adapter gets used for uh, active jobs okay so where is this config and application so let's go to application and we have mentioned we are using sidekick great now they are mentioning that we have to configure redis also so sidekick has been basically installed but if we are starting the sidekick it should get connected to redis also right so that we can persist the queuing mechanism so for that they have mentioned all those things but we have to do one thing let's start redis server so instead of starting redis server i'll first start rails or maybe i can start actually redis dash server okay so failed listening on port already in use okay so it is already in use great uh, maybe i can restart this so restart redis server for that i think we have brew or some brew based command brew services restart actually i should start typing brew services restart redis okay it got started successfully and we can see this here great and the port is still 6379 okay uh, yes so now we can follow this instruction so let's create a sidekick rb file in our initializers basically in this step we are connecting our uh, sidekick with our redis okay nothing special we are just mentioning config server config client we are connecting our client with the config as well and mentioning redis what is the url for redis this is the url dash one one is the database here okay so we'll see and here we are creating the sidekick job so for that let's start rails generate job i'll name it as simple job enter and we can see job has been created in jobs simple job okay this is the default but we have to use sidekick so for that we can use this code include actually first let's use require sidekick include sidekick okay sidekick job okay and let me add one thing ports so that we can know if it is working or not sidekick job started that's it actually I, I won't log the arguments that's fine okay so now we need some mechanism to execute this job how can we do that we will just create a button in our front end and on click of that we'll call the controller function and on that in that controller function we'll mention that hey execute this simple job okay so let's start working on that uh, for that what i'll do is i'll go to my first instance of the terminal and start rails server local host okay let's create a home page so there are three things routes view model so let's go to routes config routes home okay now we have to create a controller for this so new file home controller.rb class home controller application 
controller definition index n and let's create an index page also so for that let's go to views folder home we could have used generator also but it's fine index.html.erp okay let's use h1 hello world is the best thing refresh and we can see this now let's create a button but before creating the button that button will execute a function right so let's create that function first definition execute on button click some random name okay and and let me write something R -R -R. okay so that if this log is visible to us we can see that it has been connected with our button so we'll have to make an add route for this also so let's go to routes post i'll name it as button test job map this to home and what is the controller sorry controller name is home and what is the definition name action name is execute on button click. great now let's see if this route has been created so for that i'll create a new terminal instance of the terminal rails routes dash c home and we can see this has been created so let's clear this go to our views index.html and let's create this button button to execute side kick job underscore path and it's a post method so i'll have to explicitly mention post let's see if it works and we can see rrr execute on button click so now we just have to we have we have connected our view with the controller now we have to connect our controller with the job right so for that let's use our class name which is simple job dot perform a sync okay and we can pass any parameters all those parameters all those arguments will go in this function right so maybe i will just try to write that 30 okay now let's see if it works or not okay so actually there is one more thing we will have to see whether these have been executed or not so what uh, whether these jobs have been executed or not <coughs> whether they are in queue or they have failed or they are trying what is happening right so for that we have something called a sidekick web, web dashboard also so we will have to mention that route also so let's go to routes use require sidekick slash web okay and mount sidekick web i'll have to mount it to uh it can be any path for in in general most of the products use sidekick but it can be anything okay so i'll use sidekick only let's start the server again and i'll have to start the sidekick also so for that i'll have to use command called bundle execute sidekick there are no errors it has been connected to redis we can see this uh, processing has been started you can see this logo will appear for sidekick everything good great now let's refresh and go to localhost slash sidekick we can see this dashboard there are 17 processes but these processes i had created earlier before this demo uh, so that's still in, that is showing up so we just have to consider this as zero and go beyond that okay refresh okay great now let's click here include okay incLUD there was a typing mistake incLUDE refresh okay let's restart the server it should be includes I think no include sidekick job 
why was it not working maybe i did not save it correctly maybe that can be the issue so let's rerun this sidekick job cannot be launched in an active job simple job okay got it so this is where the problem is uh, this file doesn't ex extend anything and we are extending this application job so let me remove this refresh click and here we will see 18 coming up soon okay let's see refresh i might have to refresh this yes 18 processes so that was queued and now it was finished okay we can go to queues and let's see if something comes up for for that what i'll do is i'll create multiple such jobs five six seven eight nine ten okay let's refresh the website again let's refresh this 18 are already there now let's execute refresh okay it is taking some time and all of them have been processed okay so that's the main thing redis has helped us in managing them how can we check if redis has done this or not so for that what you can do is you can go and check redis actually so i will use redis cli i'll select our database so if you remember we wrote localhost redis port slash one in initializer sidekick you can see slash one right so that was for the database so i'll use that database name select one and i'll write keys star we can see all the keys here and processes queues let's see queues keys queues okay get queues we can see wrong type operation against okay so it might be a list and that's why it is giving us i won't go in depth of it but the main point is that we can see that actually it is help it is connecting to all the uh redis queues also so now we have these 15 tasks 15 keys let me click once again and you will see changes in that uh click keys star okay actually we won't see any changes in that 17 yeah now it has been 17 and we can see 38 here so basically that's how sidekick helps us uh, the main advantage obviously it was a very simple demo and that's why you were not able to see everything but the main advantage is when all those 10 tasks were getting ready getting performed our website won't get blocked we can use it easily we can use it without any glitch okay and that's why we need side processes obviously i'll create products in future i'm, I'm thinking of creating e-commerce website and in that i i would be i'm thinking of creating two types of jobs one is to generate advice so that's an expensive task will take time so that's one second is sending a reminder for cart related items so if user has already added some product in cart and they are not doing anything about it will send a reminder to them using sidekick okay sidekick action mailer all those kind of things so we'll see that in those product related videos but right now i think sidekick is clear to you and uh, if if it if this video was really good uh, do leave a comment like share subscribe and uh, i'll be creating more videos soon so thank you bye bye